Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. I'm a tea factress and have been on Coronation Street, but it's not always easy. While representation is improving in television and film, one tea factress says that more needs to be done to ensure more people like her are seen on screen. Vilma Jackson, 33, who has been on Coronation Street, is working to change the narrative about being deaf in television and film. The actress and film director played the role of Charlie while she was on The Cobbles, a British Sign Language, BSL, tutor, who was supporting parents Chesney Brown, Sam Aston, and Gemma Winter, Dolly Rose Campbell, with their deaf son Alad. Vilma said, I was excited to bring British Sign Language, BSL, to mainstream audiences through the TV soap, as it represents a significant aspect of the deaf community. I am grateful for the opportunity to take on this role, but I strongly advocate for more deaf actors to be given substantial storylines that go beyond their deafness or disability. Limiting their roles to aspects of their condition can often feel tokenistic. It's crucial to provide depth and complexity to characters played by deaf actors, showcasing a broader spectrum of their talents and experiences, she added. In many narratives, the portrayal of deaf or hard of hearing is often limited to themes of innocence, sadness, and sympathy, which leaves the general public uninformed about our true lived experiences. She says that because the depiction of deaf people is limited, it means that it creates a perception that those in the community are odd or different. Vilma said, In reality, the hearing and deaf worlds are essentially the same. We are not different in the ways that matter. The only distinction is our hearing status. Beyond that, there's nothing that sets us apart. Why can't we see relationship breakups, adventures, and extreme hard-hitting experiences too? Deaf people live full lives. These gaps in hearing people's knowledge creates awkwardness and ignorance that affects people like me every day. A lack of understanding means I have been asked if I can drive because I am deaf or if I can date because I am deaf. Once in a bank I said I was deaf and I was asked if I wanted text in braille. Baristas panic in coffee shops. I tried to point to my order and a staff member said they would have to get their manager. This situation highlights a significant lack of awareness about the deaf community, largely due to the absence of proper training in deaf awareness. It makes me question, do hearing people truly understand what deaf means? I have to laugh because I find it both funny and ridiculous. In the deaf community, we often laugh and talk about how hearing people can be ignorant. I have no need for anyone's sympathy. I don't see being deaf as a negative thing. I was raised to believe I could participate and achieve anything. Why not? No one made me feel like I was less than and I want other people to see the richness of our experiences. Not just this one sad storyline about hearing loss being challenging over and over. To counter the lack of representation, Vilma decided during the lockdown to write and direct her own two projects, Triple Oppression and The Vilma Jackson Show. In late 2021, she wrote The Cycle a blend of fiction and true story, focusing on the experiences of a black deaf woman in a violent relationship. Vilma says she has been discriminated against as a deaf woman, but also for her race and gender. She said, We have all faced challenges, such as discrimination and oppression, within the deaf community. As a deaf black woman, I often feel the weight of triple oppression. In 2020 she wrote, produced and performed in a short film, Triple Oppression, which deals with the challenges she faces as black, deaf, and a woman. The short won four Best Inspirational Film at the New York Film Awards, the Film Con Awards, Fastidious International Film Festival, and Los Angeles Film Awards. Vilma said, With my films I want to hit people in the heart and for the themes to resonate. I want to create more different and diverse projects. The Cycle is a psychological drama thriller combining real-life experiences and fiction revealing the plight of a black deaf woman who is let down by authorities and struggles to find help as she tries to escape abuse and rebuild her life. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment and share.